Turkey's newest unmanned combat aerial vehicle Akinci has conducted its first live firing at a sea target. In a video released by Baykar the manufacturer of Akinci, the sophisticated UAV engaged a sea target with an MK-82 bomb fitted with a Teber guidance kit. During the firing test, the Bayraktar TB-2 performed laser designation on the target, and Akinci dropped the TEBER-82 from a height of 20,000 feet. Bayraktar Akinci is a high-altitude long-endurance unmanned combat aerial vehicle or HAIL UCAV manufactured by Turkish company Baykar. It is considered as one of the most advanced and sophisticated unmanned combat aerial vehicles in the world. The Akinci UCAV has maximum takeoff weight of 5.5 tons including payload of more than 1350 kg. It is equipped with two turboprop engines which have two different types of thrust capabilities of 450 horsepower or 750 horsepower. The UCAV has length of 40 feet with wingspan of 65 feet 7 inches and height of 13 feet 5 inches. It has five bladed composite constant speed propeller. Akinci has cruise speed of 240 km per hour with maximum speed of 361 km per hour. The drone has proven range of 7,500 km with endurance of 25 hours and service ceiling of 40,000 feet. It has eight hard points to carry variety of missiles and bombs. Having the unique twisted wing structure, the UCAV has high flight endurance due its fully automatic flight control and triple redundant autopilot system. The Akinci drone is equipped with indigenous active electronically scanned array radar, a GMTI radar, a surveillance system, dual satellite communication system, electronic warfare, signal intelligence suite and SATCOM allowing Akinci to become an UCAV as well as reconnaissance asset for Turkish military. After the preliminary design phase was completed in June 2019, Akinci began ground tests in August 2019 with a Ukrainian turboprop engine. The UCAV completed its maiden flight in 2019 with the first three units entering service with the Turkish Armed Forces in August last year. Akinci is currently being actively deployed for counter-terrorism operations. The UCAV is capable of performing operations carried out by fighter jets. The Turkish Armed Forces have high hopes for Akinci due its high-altitude flying, air-air combat capabilities, and extensive weapon portfolio. Though the first Akinvi drones were delivered to the Turkish Air Force Command, the Turkish Navy will also like to acquire Akinci unmanned combat aerial vehicle as well. In addition to the present drones utilized by the Turkish Navy, it will be capable of standoff attacks. It will be able to carry and launch the indigenous Same missile which has an effective range of roughly 200 kilometers. Rocket Sands newly developed Shakur missile, with a range of more than 150 kilometers, will be among Akinci's weapons. In a network-centric environment, it will also be able to control Shakur missiles launched from other surface platforms. Because the Shakur missile will be launched from Turkish unmanned surface vehicles and other platforms, Akinci will provide unmanned surface air cooperation to increase the missile's kill probability in both open and littoral waters. These weapons will increase the UCAV's impact area, allowing it to attack a wider spectrum of naval assets like as frigates and destroyers. The range of Akinci's missiles exceeds that of many frigates and destroyers' air defense weapons. In a network-centered warfare environment, Akinci's AESA radar along with other advanced electronic intelligence capabilities, maximum altitude performance, and flight time will provide intelligence reconnaissance, surveillance target detection, and battle damage assessment support to other friendly units. The success of Bayraktar Akinci and TB2 drones will not only strengthen the military might of Turkey but also will be country's great assets in the lucrative defense market.
please like, share and subscribe for further updates.